All right, just going to turn the camera a little bit this way. This is part three of the uh, gasif gasification talk. In the, in the first two parts, uh, I spoke a little bit about uh, how the, uh, the possibility of the drill pipe being used to make a, a wood gas to power a, a 20 kilowatt household generator and uh, so I'm actually taking the drill pipe and, and uh, making a better gasifier than what's out there and using the both the direct heat of the drill pipe itself you know, along with the superheated exhaust which is around 1800 degrees to around 2000 and that's what you need to uh, convert uh, uh, your wood gas into, or your gas into wood gas, and to break down the tar and the and the water content, and uh, in a couple of days should know how the uh, uh, Rob Radish device, the <coughs> using the uh, Vortex Roll device, uh, how uh, you know it should actually generate. A hotter flame with higher yields of uh, wood gas actually increase the not only the volume but also the the, uh, the the quality of the wood gas. And I would expect that the uh, uh, Joe pipe is going to be burning. At the level three of the Joe pipe is going to be burning uh, instead of burning blue, it would be burning violet, maybe a bright purple, maybe, maybe even. Uh, purple violet to white highlights. So we're talking uh, sub-level plasma, plasma here uh, where we're generating uh, at the transition point between the third state of matter and the fourth state. So we're talking some very hot fire and hotter than uh, conventional fuels. And uh, in this talk here, I'd just like to mention, you know, if you had the gas, the drill pipe Perfected. You got something about three feet long. That's putting out enough wood gas to uh, power a 20 horsepower uh, 10 kilowatt generator. Well, if you wanted to go to uh, maybe you got a hotel, maybe you got a cool housing project, uh, maybe you have an apartment block or an apartment owner, or maybe you just want to make a big retreat out in the middle of nowhere, and. Uh, you got a hundred people and you got ten families, whatever, a dozen families, and you want to make a unit where you could actually heat up water, where the water would actually provide the, the, the heating uh, for uh, all, all families. And uh, at the same time that you're also providing the, the, the power. Okay, how would you do this? I have my whiteboard set up. I just just imagine that this is the whiteboard. You have your uh, hexagonal pattern here. You know, you know basically a six-sided polygon. So we'll just draw it out here. You make your six sides. At each start point, you could actually have a drill pipe uh, with the capacity to generate or produce enough wood gas power 10 kilowatt generator. You can beef it up a little bit uh, to uh, where maybe say 15 kilowatts. And so if you add times that by six all the way around, you would have close to 100 kilowatts of uh, generator that would be powered by uh, gasification uh, or pyrolysis or, or, or a mix of both. And so you're making off this wood gas, and in the center, you got your, your center your collection, where your wood gas would come in, and you could actually have a, a final plasma stage where the wood gas would be passed through and super cracked. It might even, uh, the gas itself might even be converted into the plasma gas, same as the uh, heat reactor, you no know, Paul Pantene's device that he was given, converts normal petroleum fuels, uh, ketchup, mustard, battery acid, or whatever into um, a burnable state, converts it into plasma using uh, plasma fuel using 
the vortex spin and the heat and, and the vacuum and all that. And the drill pipe is, is very similar, especially when you're mortaring on plasma. So you could actually take the gas, uh, the gasification, the wood gas and producer gas from all six uh, drill pipe gasifiers and run it through a, a central uh, high grade plasma gasifier, just a drill pipe that's using uh, where you could actually modify it to uh, generate uh, a level 5 or a level 7 uh, uh, flame. So the, the, where the wood gas would be going through, there would be a high tension arcing. We could actually make your fire uh, you know, go into uh, electrical form, from you know, like a thermoelectric, and you know for sure that your, your uh, wood gas is going to be 100% pure. Uh, maybe even uh, uh, cracked to the point where enough energy is added to be reformed into the force scale of matter. Now, if this was the case, and from what I've seen in the past, I've, I've actually seen this, you would have uh, a fuel, like the geek gas, that would burn clean, there would be no emissions. Well, there would be emissions, but your emissions would be um, oxygen or enriched uh, hydrogen oxygen mix. No carbon footprint, and that's what I'm seeing for the for the Joe pipe. And uh, this needs to get out, and people need to realize, well, yeah, this is possible. You know, the Joe pipe is just emerging. Uh, we're you know, demonstrating the gasification part to show the practicality. You know, so you not only have your own heating, you can have your power as well and be totally independent from the grid. You could have a cabin on top of the mountain and still be able to uh, provide all your necessities. So that's why I envision in uh, using a taking the drill pipe and putting it into a, a larger format. And if you had to change out one uh, gasifier unit, not a problem. You could just take that offline, take it out and repair it from the back end, or maybe you have to pull it out and service it. And you can do that without having to shut the whole system down. So you make your gas, you run it through a plasma bath uh, using the upgraded uh, level 5 level or level 7 uh, Joe tube. And uh, that goes to your uh, to power. Well, if you get in plasma, you, you might as well be talking to uh, 10 times 100, so you're talking about a million kilovolt uh, gas per unit. If you're actually able to convert wood gas into the plasma state, now you got power to you know, run several square blocks and uh, maybe more. Okay, anybody who wants to get back to me, you can reach me at uh, Joshua 8767 on Skype. And I usually have the computer on most of the day. Or you can reach me at my email address at Joshua underscore light zero three at hotmail. Dot com and uh, I appreciate your comments and I would like to begin to work with people in, in North America especially in, in the United States and uh, maybe the northern parts of Canada because this, this is where the, this technology would be uh, best uh, suitable up there because of the coal and, uh, and there's lots of wood so why not start where the, where the need is and where they, where they have the fuel and uh, any help is appreciated. All your comments are, wel are, are welcome. And looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.